Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning for the week of July 26th through August 1st, and I'm using a kit from the Pretty Pink Co. called Summer Glow. I believe with the Pretty Pink Co. you can choose any foil color, and I decided to go with rose gold. The date dots that I'm using are from my spoiled planner, and I decided to add some floral trim from Sadie's stickers to the top of my date covers. For my washi weekend banner, I'm using a bunch of Simply Gilded washi, as well as one from Once More With Love. As I was getting ready to film this spread, I honestly had a really hard time just thinking about this week because it was a really tough week for me. And I think just looking at it now, all complete, I think it would be a little hard to tell that because I didn't write all the details of everything. But I was having a hard time deciding what to put in my planner. And I really just wanted to avoid this week, flip the page over and go to the next week. But I had already set up the perimeter with this kit and I knew I would regret not putting all these stickers down because I really do love this kit. I really could just go through this video and not mention anything, but I had decided a couple months ago that I wanted to be a little more open with things that I was struggling with. And although I don't want to talk about all the details because it does involve other people, I do want to just talk about how I'm affected. And in this week, I decided to leave a full box day extender completely blank. I didn't want to put the pressure of trying to figure out what to put in there so i still don't know what i'm gonna write in there or if i'm gonna add any stickers but that day in particular was really tough and looking back on it and kind of having to face it while pre-planning i realized that this was a pretty traumatic week for me and that's kind of hard for me to say because there might be people who wouldn't consider it trauma but i've learned that trauma comes in lots of different forms and especially over this past year and a half of going through therapy, something I really had to accept was that I have gone through trauma in my life where before I wouldn't really consider it, I wouldn't think anything of it, but now I can see more of the evidence of trauma so it all makes sense a bit more and especially when I was even thinking about opening this page and I was really getting nervous and anxious about it. I knew it would be good for me to face these memories and try to process it in a way so I'm glad that planning has kind of allowed me to do that. At the time that this happened, I did talk about it a lot, especially with my husband. You'll see a lot of couch time stickers used towards the end of the week. I also talked about it a lot in therapy, but I think since there has been some time since then, it's been good for me to revisit that day and kind of figure out how I would want to remember it in the future. And at this point, like, I remember this day very clearly, so it's kind of hard for me to decide. But now that the spread is done and that I'm getting this video edited, hopefully I'll be able to sit down and really figure out what I want to put in that empty full box day extender. I guess to briefly sum up some of the things I've mentioned in the past videos, I kind of was slowly opening up about everything. But there have been a lot of problems going on at my parents' house. My sister moved out to get out of that situation, so that is why she moved in with my brother. I think the biggest takeaway for me after planning out this week was that I know that if I had gone through this experience a year and a half ago or even a year ago, I wouldn't have been able to handle it in the same way. And based on things that happened a year ago, I can see how much I've grown in that time. So I'm so appreciative and thankful that we decided to go through therapy. I appreciate you all for allowing me to open up a bit more. My mind was kind of all over the place, so hopefully that made sense. But in my sidebar, everything I'm using is from the kit, except for the July script, which is from the Glitter Mama. I'll be listing all the shops that I use in this spread down in the description box. But if you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I'll be happy to answer. Getting into the week. On Monday. I started with marking therapy using a sticker from Pumpkin Paper Co. Below that, I marked Coffee Monday using a sticker from Sticky Bow Babies. Then I marked A Walk with the Boys using a sticker from Planning Like a Pro. 
Underneath the full box, I marked editing using a sticker from Sticky Bow Babies, and the edit script is from Harriet Wright Designs. Below that, I used a sticker from The Coffee Monsters Co., and I marked that I was having anxiety about a phone call that I was planning to make. This was actually something I had talked about in therapy earlier, and I think I've been anxious about it for a long time, but after therapy, I had decided that I was going to make a phone call that I've been avoiding, and I was really anxious about it. Then I marked going to the pool with the boys. I used a sticker from Pumpkin Paper Co. And at the bottom of the stay, I marked snuggle time using a script from Station Stickers and a Mom and Modi sticker from The Coffee Monsters Co. On Tuesday, I was up early. This script is from Station Stickers. I think at this point, I was setting my alarm to try to wake up earlier, and this was one of the days where I actually did wake up early. PJ was going to be starting kindergarten soon, so I was trying to adjust my sleep schedule at first, and at this time, it just wasn't working out too well. But then I marked uploading a plan with me, the YouTube sticker is from Sweet Bella XOXO, and the upload script is from Harriet Wright Designs. Then I marked laundry using this foiled sticker from Harriet Wright Designs. Below that, I used a larger floral deco sticker to match the height of this clean bathroom sticker from Paper Panda. I added a layering sticker behind it to fill in some of the white space. In the corner box, I used a sticker from White Deer Stationery to mark pooling stickers. Then I painted my nails. I used another sticker from White Deer Stationery, and the script is from Station Stickers. The last thing I marked was placing an Amazon order. This icon is from The Pretty Pink Co. On Wednesday, I started with a full box. Then I marked filming. I used this larger camera deco from the kit and a film script from Harriet Wright Designs. Below that, I marked going to the pool with the boys. I used a sticker from Pumpkin Paper Co. My husband actually had a headache, so he decided to just lay out on the pool chair while we were in the pool. And then I marked starting an earlier bedtime. I used this alarm clock from White Deer Stationery. My boys were used to going to bed around 10 o'clock, sometimes even later. Even though 9 to 9.30 was usually the time that I started bedtime, I would just end up talking to them and reading to them, and that would just delay their bedtime. So I knew I really had to start the transition early so that we would be a bit more prepared for school. Below that, I used a half scallop from Panda Bird Design and a sticker from Once More With Love, and I wrote that my husband and I watched The Greatest Showman. I was so surprised that my husband wanted to watch it, but apparently he had heard some of the songs, so he was really interested in it. After that, we watched A Typical. This sticker is from White Deer Stationery. I had a tiny bit of space left, so I added a bow divider from Panda Bird Design. Flipping over to Thursday, I started with my full box day extender, and here is where I left it completely blank. So a lot of things that you will see with this day looks completely normal, but it was extremely stressful, and my kids don't know anything about what's going on, so a lot of it was just putting on, you know, a strong face and trying to get through the day as normally as possible, although I felt the high anxiety almost the entire day. The first thing that I marked was my mom's birthday. The script is from The Glitter Mama and the cupcake is from White Deer Stationery. Below that, I marked calling my mom using an icon from The Pretty Pink Co. Then I used a sticker from Hello Petite Paper and I wrote that the boys paint birthday cards. In the half box, I use an apron sticker from White Deer Stationery, and I think I changed this later on, but right now I see a cake from The Pretty Pink Co. I wrote that I cooked dinner and baked a cake. Then I marked family Zoom with my brother and sister. The sticker is from Fox and Pip. We were able to all sing happy birthday to my mom. And at the bottom of this day, I marked couch time using a custom script from Station Stickers, and the couch icon is from White Deer Stationery. 
on Friday. I started with a sticker from Pumpkin Paper Co. I had a really hard time sleeping, so I woke up exhausted. Then I used a buy all the stickers script from Station Stickers. There were a ton of sales going on this day. Below that, I added a half box extender. I knew I had a couple extra things to mark, and I also kind of wanted to hide this sticker from Sweet Koi Design because it didn't really match the whole spread. But on the outside, I started with a sticker from Harriet Wright Designs. We had our refinance closing, and it was really quick. Inside the half box extender, I marked a bunch of calls that I made. The sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. and I used some of the bows from the kit to make a little checklist. I called my mom, my sister, and then my brother. And at the bottom, I used a sticker from Sweet Koi Design. I finally had another Invisalign appointment. I had to get my trays redone. I originally was only supposed to have 20 trays. I finished all of those, but there was a mistake along the way. But on this day, I finally received my new trays, which I received eight more, which was a little frustrating because I thought I was going to be done by this time. But at this point, I was just relieved to be back on the process and finally get closer to the end of it. At this point, I was waiting several months with no change in trays, so I was mostly excited this day. Underneath the full box, I used a tidy up script from Nikki Plus 3. Then I marked couch time using a sticker from Once More With Love. And I ended this day marking filming using a camera and a script from Harriet Wright Designs. Moving on to the weekend. On Saturday, I was up early. I still didn't get a lot of sleep, but I must have heard that the boys were awake, so I just got up early with them. We took the boys outside to practice riding their bikes. I used a bike sticker from My Dear Stationery, and I also wrote that PJ was able to pedal on his own. Up until this point, he would get really frustrated with pedaling, and he just felt like he couldn't do it. So this was a really exciting moment, and we were so proud of him. Below that, I used some of the larger floral deco in place of a box. I added a family time script from Nikki Plus 3 and a sticker from Pumpkin Paper Co. to mark a family pool day. At the bottom of this day, I added a full box day extender. Inside the day extender, I wrote that I made breakfast, the bagel stickers from White Deer Stationery. Then I used a sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. and I wrote that I had so much anxiety. A lot of this was happening in the morning, but also while I was making breakfast. Below that, I marked the important phone call that I made. The phone icon is from the Pretty Pink Co. One thing that I really struggle with is figuring out what to say. I normally just keep quiet and keep my thoughts to myself, but in this situation, I had a lot of thoughts on my mind. There were a lot of things that I wanted to say. I feel like at this point, it's probably obvious that this phone call was with my dad, but normally I am... It feels like I'm unable to say anything directly to my parents. I mean, both of them I have a hard time talking to openly and honestly. So this was a huge accomplishment for me. I was actually able to get some of my thoughts out there and I fought through it. I cried through it and I was just really proud of myself for being able to do that since it was probably the first time in my life that I had done that. So that is why I marked it right underneath, being proud of myself. And right after that, I had to go talk to my husband about everything. So I added a couch time script. And then I marked that the boys FaceTime my mom. All of these stickers that I use in this bottom section are from Once More With Love. At the very bottom of this day, I just used a little bow from the kit. And I wrote that I pulled stickers. On Sunday, I started with a full box day extender. Inside the day extender, I wrote that I was exhausted, drained, and I couldn't sleep. This sticker is from Once More With Love, and it was pretty accurate of how I looked that day. I meal planned, went on a grocery run, and put away the groceries. Then I marked baking banana bread using the sticker from Sticky Bow Babies. This is the one I had pulled from Thursday. 
Then I layered some stickers from the kit and added a sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. that says, Be Kind to Yourself. Below that, I used a sticker from Sticky Bow Babies to mark editing. The edit script is from Harriet Wright Designs. Then I marked a much needed nap using a sticker from Pumpkin Paper Co. And at the bottom of this day, I marked a YouTube binge. The script is from Station Stickers. The YouTube icon is from The Pretty Pink Co. And I added a swoosh from Planning Like a Pro. But that is all I have for this week. Here are all the stickers I have left over. I am so relieved that this week is done. As much as I love this kit, it was really hard for me to plan and this voiceover was really hard for me to do. So I'm just kind of relieved right now that we are at the end and I can start editing this video. I recently received a kit, like a gloomy themed kit from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I really wanted to use it for this week, but especially with my mom's birthday, I felt like this was more fitting for her birthday. What do you guys do when you have a really hard week? Do you still plan everything out or do you completely skip over it? I would love to hear what you guys do. I really love this kit and I had a lot of fun with the larger deco items, even though they were a little intimidating to use. But I really love how this turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.